Hey everyone, it's Midnight Spectre, and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a retrospective on the internet and how stuff has changed since I was first connected online in 2007. So I hope everyone remembers to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the video. So, back in about the spring of 2007, my grandparents got a high-speed internet connection at their house, and let me tell you, I'm not sure if that changed my life for the better or for the worse. We had dial-up for a time, and I was watching any sort of flash animations, and that was always a pain. I feel like it took about an hour for them to load, but it was probably a lot less than that. However, that was really the extent of what I could do online besides looking at walkthroughs for games and stuff like that. However, I was also painfully aware that I was stuck in a stone age up until that point because people would talk about stuff that they were watching on YouTube or going to MySpace and playing a RuneScape. So I knew I was missing out, but when I got high speed internet my whole world changed. I was suddenly thrust into this evolving and at the time still pretty wild frontier that was the internet. YouTube ended up becoming my playground. What I missed about early YouTube was just the sheer amount of customization you had with your channel at the time. You could put a channel background, you could do different colors for fonts and borders around text boxes. I loved it honestly. I was no graphic designer by any means, so my YouTube page was probably an impossible to read since everything was some sort of shade of blue. There were also a ton of different threads and trends and stuff like that that were also going on at the time as well. Does anyone remember a channel called Is It A Good Idea To Microwave This? It, which was an absolute joy to watch. I remember tuning in on every new episode to see what they were going to microwave and what was going to happen. Spoiler, it usually caught fire. That's something I haven't really seen on current day YouTube. There's not a lot of channels of people just screwing around and it's a normal series. I don't think anything like that would fly it today because back then the YouTube was sort of a lawless wasteland. Every link was a risky click. It could be a link to Lemon Party or Meat Spin. Trolling was also pretty rampant too, and pretty vicious. There were creators that I was friends with at the time on the platform that ended up being trolled off of YouTube. A hilarious thing that happened on YouTube though, was which I was there to witness, was the infamous May AIDS attack on Christmas of 2009. There are a lot of videos that could probably sum this up better and describe who May AIDS was better and what happened, but this is simply sort of an in a nutshell synopsis. So May Aids was a YouTube poop creator that went by the name of May Aids and had Avatar from May, and I'm totally gonna butcher where this is from, but it's called Arashi no Yoru Ni, or One Stormy Night, which I really enjoyed that movie honestly. Both characters Gabu and May are really cute. Anyway, they hacked YouTube and replaced a lot of thumbnails of videos with a picture of some guy or a picture of Piano Chant from My Melody. It was really crazy to witness at this point because I've heard of hacking, but I didn't think at a time that like a whole website like YouTube could be hacked, but just individual accounts. Boy howdy was I wrong. Anyway, that sort of got me more interested in the YouTube poop community, and I was actually started making my own YouTube poop com videos. At the time, I was working with a laptop that was even laughably ant antiquated at the time, which was running Windows 2000 with 1 gigabyte of RAM. I absolutely taxed that poor laptop trying to run Sony Vega 6 or 7 on it. Most of my YouTube poops, which sounds really weird to say, were just uh, chaotic messes of dinner and spaghetti clips, lots of stutter and lots of loud noises. I remember joining the YouTube poop forums and participating in YouTube poop tennis matches. YouTube poop tennis is when a YouTube poop creator would make a poop and then another creator would take that video and make a poop with it and they would go back and forth and usually the end result was wholly unrecognizable from the first video in the match. Another thing that I miss about early internet is around 2011 to 2010 when My Little Pony Friendship is Magic took the internet by storm. Now at this time I consumed any sort of media with talking horses in it so I was going to watch My Little Pony regardless if it was popular or not. In fact, I love watching My Little Pony Tales, and I watched a fair bit of G3 as well. And I was also part of a forum for My Little Pony. That's another thing that sort of disappeared now, which are forums. They're still around, but most people go to Reddit or 4chan if they want to talk about something. I remember watching a rip of the episode on YouTube from a channel called Pensive Pine, and the video maybe had 100 views, but my pay playback glitched or something, and I remember refreshing the page, and the video had like 10,000 views. And I figured it had just become source for some sort of new YouTube poop, but boy was I wrong. I couldn't believe it honestly. Soon a whole new community spawned from French of His Magic, and websites like Equestria Daily and Horse News spawned. Another thing was I missed that was all the great fandom music that was created during that time. Like The Living Tombstone, Odyssey Eurobeat, Twitch, Yelling at Cats, All Levels at Once, and Sin Gratina. I'm sure there are other creators I'm missing, but I loved all of them. I also love some of the YouTube poop music videos that spawned from the show, 
where people would sh pitch shift the ponies saying stuff and use them to cop cover a popular song like Dr. Mario or a Toho song. I wish I wasn't so afraid and nervous to join in the community at the time because I would have met a lot of cool people and inspirational people during that time and maybe attended a couple conventions too. Well, honestly, the internet as it is now is a lot better to find communities and stuff with websites like Twitter, Amino, although I've never used that, Reddit, and Telegram. I do miss that sort of lawlessness that the early internet had just because getting on that day was kind of a crapshoot of what could happen. I suppose stuff like this is better left in the past, just since there's a lot of trolling and general toxicity that was pretty off-putting. I hope everyone enjoyed this week's video, and I hope everyone remembers to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for next week's video. See you!